Hey folks, it's scuttle time. Woo! Hey folks, thanks again for tuning in with another quick wet shaving tip from your pal Douglas Smythe of phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com or crownkingshaving.com or howtogrowamustache.com. <laughs> God, I seem to have my fingers in a lot of pies. Regardless, we are back and today we are talking about scuttles and how to use one. Well, how to use a modern scuttle, that is. Well, maybe we'll incorporate some history as well. In fact, let's do that. Let's do that now. Scuttles. Scuttles go back, oh well, geez, who's to say, 100 years back, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Scuttles were invented for, well, dad to shave with back in the day, before there was running water in the house, before there was any water in the house. You would have to go outside, uh, fill up a, a pail, bring it back in, boil it, or boil it outside, fill up all the wash pots and all the bedrooms around the house, including dad's scuttle. And in that case, you would fill up the bottom vessel of both of these scuttles. These are two fine specimens of uh, Victorian era scuttles. This one I suspect is a reproduction. I'm not sure. This one is the real deal, Holyfield. And what you would do is fill up the bottom vessel with hot water. If there was no soap in the scuttle, typically there was, but if they, you, know, you open up a new pack, hadn't put it in there yet, I would recommend filling up the top with hot water as well. And letting this sit for a few minutes to warm up the entire vessel. Uh, but this was more for just your everyday shave. It wasn't for creating hot lather like the modern uh, scuttle is in, a, or lather scuttle as some call it. Um, but you could use it like that back then if you were thinking straight. Um, this one has divots cut out in it so you would, you know, store your brush in there after the fact. Uh, very nice scuttle right here. But yes, so, once their scuttle was heated, you put the soap puck in there. They were made to fit this back in the day. And you would, uh, with your brush, now your brush at the same time could be sitting inside of the scuttle, right here, preparing the bristles, softening them, heating them, so on and so forth. Um, once you were ready to shave, you'd load up the brush, which you typically would nowadays, in a, maybe just a mug, and then build lather on your face. If you need more water along the way, you just dip the bristles in the bottom vessel and continue. So that's how you would use an antique or vintage scuttle. And some guys are still using them to this day, and God bless them. Here's another fine specimen that was gifted to me, and at the time, the giver told me, <laughs> both of us were a little apprehensive about this, but was, I was told it was from the Civil War. It was a Civil War era scuttle. And we both were, yeah, again, questioning that, but that's what it was sold as. And after doing a little bit of research, that's what it is, in fact. Um, this is what the soldiers would be carrying on them. They would keep soap packets or soap inside this side uh, pouch here. There's a hole inside, right there you see, would drain into if it need be. And you would fill this up, just like you'd fill up anything else. And um, either with hot water or cold water by the stream maybe, depending on what the circumstances were. And you would, yeah, dip, uh, keep the brush in here, as so, wetting it, and then loading up the soap and building lather on your face, and you're in the field shaving suddenly. And I'm sure it was improvised in many cases to serve as a coffee cup as well, or just water. So that is a Civil War era, a great little find. Now, that brings us to the modern scuttle. Now the modern scuttle is, well, this is one specimen. This is mine, in fact. Um, in, in fact, I, you know, I've been using scuttles for years, and in the back of my mind, I was always taking notes how I would do it differently, how I would do it better, or just better for me. And that's what this turned into, this Crown King Scuttle. Um, what to look for when buying a scuttle, or what I look for when buying a scuttle? Vertical lines. Horizontal lines are great. They're, you know, for the pumping action, if you're gonna, if you're a pumper. <laughs> but vertical uh, uh, lines guarantee lather production. They're creating resistance. And if you can even hear this. That's my nail, that's just my nail. So, I mean, like, there is resistance there. You want to find texture inside the scuttle. So that is what I look for in a scuttle, and that's what I've added to the scuttle on. That I love <laughs> and sell now. So first things first, you would fill the in internal vessel with hot water. Not boiling water, not super hot water, but the hottest that comes out of the tap. Why? 
Because it turns, well, boiling water especially, turns your lather into like glue, into like a, a polymer, like a sticky mess. It kills the lather, in other words. So shy away from the super hot water, unless you're just gonna, you know, be allowing your skull to uh, balance out while you take a shower, walk the dog, and maybe take out the trash. Uh, other than that, you don't really need super, super hot water. You need the hottest that comes out of your tap. Fill that up with hot tap water. Fill the top vessel up with hot water, and maybe, Keep your brush in there as well while you take a shower. When you get out of the shower, see the metal, I choose a metal brush too when I'm creating hot lather because the metal maintains the heat. This is the switchback, in fact. Uh, also a Crown King uh, product. But this maintains heat as well. So it's all about maintaining heat, thermal equilibrium, if you will. <laughs> so when you are ready to shave after your shower, dump out the water in the top vessel. And you could actually, if you're nuts like I am, empty the bottom vessel too and replace it with more hot water hotter hot water if that's what you're into and you are good to go so with the top vessel empty you would now move over to your soap you need to find a latherable soap <laughs> my favorite is well of course my own this is holiday by crown king and this is a lather or lather machine wet the brush load it as you typically would or if you're new to this this is how you load a brush so right in the jar on the top, you can tell I use this a lot, it's one of my favorites. Um, and there we go. That's a loaded brush. You really don't need that much to start with. If you need to add more water, you can just do it as you go. But okay, so empty scuttle, loaded brush. Two techniques that I use. You don't need to, you may have your own. I use a pumping motion. You can see that? It's like this. Slight pumping while turning. And you can alternate direction you go but turning in a circular pattern and one thing to say about this technique is depending on what you're doing more be it the circular circular motion or the pumping uh, will decide what type of lather you get the more you, the more pumping you do the more larger the air bubbles could theoretically become and you don't want that so if you do see large air bubbles forming you need to slow down on the pumping action and rely more on, on the circular you can also incorporate as some do a figure eight pattern it's not my this I seem to go into on my own <laughs> without thinking, but I just go back and forth or circular while pumping. And this needs just a tad more water. Depending on the scuttle you have, some scuttles don't have a cork or a stopper. They actually have an open hole there. You can take some water from that or just from running water. Mind you, I'm not leaving my faucet on. It's an industrial sink, so it stays on until it shuts itself off. Uh, so, more water. But as you can see, I'm building a nice hot lather. Because clearly you can see the heat. Why hot lather? Well, hot lather is awesome. <laughs> as many barber will tell you. And while, as many barber possesses a lather machine or a hot lather machine, great for the skin, preps the skin before the shave, softens the bristles and the whiskers. Look at that. So this will stay hot the entire shave. I do a three to four pass shave. So in between passes, you know, if I was to shave right now, my face would be prepped, be wet, ready, maybe using a pre-shave, maybe not. I'd apply the lather on top, shave. Uh, in between shaving, I'm returning the brush back to the bowl. This ensures that the lather stays hot, the brush stays hot, especially if it's a metal brush that'll maintain heat as well. So it's gonna be hot throughout the entire three to four pass shave. How many passes you do, you're gonna be half a hot lather. Great this time of year, this time of year being December, but great any time of year too. So I encourage you all to go out and try out a scuttle. If you have not yet, do it. You're, it needs to be in everyone's shave, uh, shave shack or shave den, if you will. And uh, highly addictive and nothing, again, like a hot lather shave. And you just, you don't really want to stop. I can't stop. So thanks again, folks, for watching. This is Douglas Smythe from phoenixartsandaccoutrements.com. I'll catch you very soon with another tutorial, if I can ever get out of this tutorial. I just can't stop the use. Excuse me. Hot <laughs> weather. <laughs>